Hi guys, Kayong here for another daily outlook uh, in terms of the forex market. All right, so the first thing always is to look at what's going to happen for today in the London and the US session. So if you look at Wednesday, um, which is right now, all right, uh, this particular date itself, you can see that there's not much of an important uh, tier one data. But of course, later on, uh, in the in the very early morning of Thursday, which is in Singapore time, it's about two a.m. We have FOMC meeting minutes. Um, Highly unlikely it's going to be huge market moving, uh, but it's still important to take note of such event. So having said that, uh, basically today in the trading session, nothing much to, to uh, in, in particular for you to take note of. Uh, but if you are holding positions uh, at the end of the session today, you need to be aware of FOMC meeting minutes. All right. so with that, let's go over to the chart. Uh, for euro dollar, all right, we continue to see price uh, moving lower, all right. Right now, it has breached the previous low. So technically, uh, in terms of technical analysis, right now it's in a downtrend, all right. And of course, the level they will be interested of for today, uh, will be at the 8.2 retracement, uh, in confluence with a previous structure level over here, all right. Uh, and another thing to note is currently we do have some form of divergence, uh, but it's still at a very early stage because price hasn't shown any significant turn. So for today, the level to look out for is at this, which is 1.110. Uh, it's also a psychological even number. So if price rally back up towards this area, we'll be looking for opportunity to short the market. For pound dollar, um, we are still we are still skipping all the pound, all right? Simply because after the flash crash, uh, we are giving some time for the dust to settle down before we trade on it. Uh, dollar yen, all right. Uh, this was analyzed yesterday. I haven't cleared my chart, but basically, uh, we did see a rejection of the sixty one point eight, all right. Uh, but for me, personal rules and my trading plan is that uh, if it's not in the session, I won't be actively monitoring the market, right. If I if I monitor the market twenty four hours, it will be mad, uh, simply because you won't be able to do anything else, and you drive yourself crazy because every hours you are looking at the chart, all right. So um. You need to set certain criteria for yourself as well uh, so that you know your life doesn't just revolve around looking at charts so that's something that you need to take note of as well uh, opportunities like this you know this might turn out profitable and they continue higher yes it might turn out um, you know me missing that trade uh, but of course it's always a give and take all right uh, and another thing to note is i also don't enter any positions i won't be actively trading if it's not in the uk or in the us session all right so for example right now even though i do see this pattern this uh, setup as valid uh, i won't be taking this trade all right but of course if your plan says yes you can go ahead and take it because we do have some form of very nice bullish rejection off here uh, you can take the particular trade all right but other than that uh, nothing much on update uh, in terms of dollar yen but simply that we have this active position that is being uh, analyzed yesterday. Aussie dollar, all right. Uh, this was also again yesterday set up. You can see uh, a few rejection of the fifty percent Fibonacci with confluence of a minor structure over here. Uh, but as of now, it hasn't touched the sixty one point eight. All right, so I'm very strict in that rule. I want it to at least touch the sixty one point eight before I consider taking any trade. So this is still valid for today. All right, and what we have over here is a divergence at the bottom as well. So price has made uh, some form of new low, all right, but RSI has made a higher low. So uh, what we can expect is that potentially it can touch the 61.8 and retrace back down. Uh, we might see some form of uh, support coming in because of this divergence. All right, so as of today, the valid levels that I'm looking out for is at 7590. So should price comes into this area, I'll be looking for an opportunity to short the Aussie dollar. Kiwi dollar, alright, uh, price has again breached new low, alright, uh, as of the H1 time frame. So what I'm looking out for is very similar to the Euro dollar. Uh, the level is at 38.2 coming in at close to previous structure, alright. And for those who are more conservative, you can take the 50% because uh, it's actually at a higher, and you can, uh, higher level. And you can actually see... Uh, price more bounces of this level itself right so uh, depending on what is your risk profile how do you trade what is your style uh, if you're aggressive you can go for a 38.2 retracement if you're uh, slightly more conservative you go for the 50 percent all right so this level is about 7125 for kiwi dollar looking for a short opportunity right again uh similar to dollar cat uh, uh similar to dollar yen we have dollar cat which we analyzed yesterday 61.8 Fibonacci level, you can see price entered 
uh, it tested one time, two time, and then after that it breached close below. All right, and this is a huge bearish engulfing. Uh, again, I don't trade when it's not during the active ses session. So uh, again, I've missed this trade. Right, so what you can do is if you miss this kind of trade, uh, you can potentially wait for today trading session price to rally back up towards this level, show another form of rejection. So you have a uh, some form of a double top over here, and then you can still enter that particular trade. Right, so that's it for dollar cat as of now. All right, uh, euro yen, uh, price has made a new low, breaking this previous one. So right now, what we are looking out for is a retracement back towards this in confluence of sixty one point eight. So if price rally back up towards this level at 115.10, we'll be looking for opportunity to short the Euro Yen. Uh, similar to Aussie Dollar, we have Aussie Canadian, a uh, very similar setup. Price hasn't touched the 61.8, uh, but we did see one, two, three forms of rejection already. All right, so what I'm waiting for is for price to come back up towards the 1.0030, uh, around that level before I take an opportunity to short the market. Aussie Kiwi, uh, still nothing much, but basically price is still making a slight, slightly new high. Uh, so the level that I'm looking out for is around 50 to 61.8 Fibonacci. Again, if you look left, this is where the structure areas are. Again, depending on are you uh, aggressive or conservative. All right. So if if you're following me, I'm I'm more a conservative kind of trader. So I would like to always take uh, a lower fit level. So if you look at this, this is at 1.0625. Uh, if price comes back down, I'll be taking that uh, again. This setup itself is still very early stage because we are still seeing price uh, inching higher instead of showing significant uh, indication that it's turning. Euro Aussie, uh, it has entered the zone that we identified yesterday. All right, but you can see you have one, two, three rejection, but there's no bullish close as of now. Uh, and again, another criteria is that it's not in the session that I'm trading. So you can see sometimes I miss opportunity, but sometimes I avoid losing trades as well. Alright, so again, uh, other than this level, we have not much of a significant level to look out for in terms of Euro Aussie. Alright, but if price starts to turn, we might have a trend continuation towards the downside at previous structure over here. Right, but as of now, nothing much. You can see price is still in a very bearish state. Alright, so uh, nothing much for Euro Aussie. Similar to Eurocat, nothing much to be looking out for. Um, KiwiCat still valid for this level that we looked out for last uh, last session yesterday. Right, we are still waiting for price to retrace back towards this structure level around the 9420. All right, uh, and again, if you are very conservative, you can go for the 61.8. You can see that the structure level in the past is more significant in the way that price actually tests it more times. All right, and uh, this level is at 0 0.9445. All right, so that's it for today's uh quick video. All right, hopefully, uh, you don't only look at the levels that I'm looking out for, but you use this as an uh, educational purpose as well uh, as your own reference as to how we trade the market some of the psychology that we put into it some of the management that we put into it and hopefully it is going to help you in your own trading with that i'll talk to you tomorrow trade according to your plan and always manage your risk see you soon